So good day engineers So para sa video natin We will be having uh, A part of The steel reinforcement factor Which is To be considered in the design of single reinforced beam So nandun na tayo Sa pangalawang steel ratio Na kailangan natin i-discuss Which is now on The required steel ratio So, ano nga ba yung required steel ratio? Yung required steel ratio, uh, isa yan sa possible na steel ratio natin na pwede natin gamitin to get our required steel area. And, syempre, yung required steel area is isa sa pinaka-importanting uh, variable para makakuha tayo ng design ng rebar, malaman natin kung ilang reinforcement yung kailangan nating ilagay dun sa beam cross-section na dinidesign natin. So, ganun kahalaga tong equation na to. So, kapag uh, so for this required steel ratio nga pala, meron tayong apat na method na pwedeng gamitin para mapalabas yung required steel ratio. So, yung tatlong una is by an equation and yung pang-apat is by using the numerical method or the numerical analysis. So, for our first equation, meron tayo dyan which is an equation Fy squared over the F prime C times 10 over 17 rho required squared minus Fy rho required plus the MU over phi BD squared is equal to 0. So, as you can see, this is a quadratic equation which can be solved using a quadratic formula. So, ibig sabihin, pwede natin gamitin dito yung modes ng calculator natin which corresponds to the quadratic equation at pwede din natin gamitin yung mismong quadratic formula. The next uh, equation na pwede natin gamitin to get the required steel ratio is rho required equivalent to 0.85 F prime C over the Fy times 1 minus square root ng 1 minus 2 R N over 0.85 F prime of C. So, pwede rin natin itong gamitin to get our raw required. Next, yung sunod natin Equation is formulated by engineer Albert Cañete and this uh, this formula can be seen in his textbook on the principle of reinforced concrete design. So, yung tinatawag natin to na Cañete's equation for or the Cañete's formula for our raw required. So, that will be a value rho required is equal to 1 minus square root ng 1 minus 2 mx over our m. Whereas, yung m dyan is equivalent to a value 0 point or fy divided by 0 0.85 f prime c then yung value ng x natin dyan is equivalent to the mu over phi bd squared fy yan ngayon yung value ng m and x for our rho required then yung fourth method para makuha natin si required steel ratio is i-discuss natin yan on our sample problem para mas maintindihan natin kung paano siya gagamitin. So, lagay lang natin dito that the fourth method is by using the numer uh, numerical analysis or the numerical method or numerical analysis method. 
Pero itong numerical analysis method kasi uh, somehow para siya para siya dun sa first equation natin eh. So ipapakita ko lang kung anong separate method para makuha yung quadratic equation or para makuha yung value ng rod required using the quadratic equation. So for this video, ang gagawin natin is I will derive the equation or yung first equation natin which is yung fy squared over the f prime c times 10 over 17 rho required squared minus fy rho required plus mu over pbd squared is equal to 0. So kailangan natin yan palabasin. Ang gagamitin ko lang will be the stress diagram. So, syempre, para ma-derive natin itong equation na to, kunin natin yung stress diagram, which is ito. So, nandyan pa rin yung component na ang stress natin for this rectangular stress block is 0.85 F prime C. At yung height niya or depth ng rectangle na yun is A. And still, syempre, kakailangan din natin yung 300, uh, yung base natin dyan. And the tension and the equivalent compression, then we have a moment arm na D minus A over 2. So, syempre, this correspond to a diagram which is nakapaganyan on a 3D view. So, this is the B. Tapos, ito yung 0.85 F prime C. And, ito yung A. Then, syempre, ito yung compression. Tapos, ito yung tension. So, ngayon, ang gagawin natin is we use the value C is equal to T. So, syempre, that is C is equal to T. So, that will be 0.85 F prime C AB. So, we co we are considering na walang butas yung beam natin. So, that is equal to AS FY. And since this is a design part, so we are considering that the tension still yields. So, sa design natin, we always assume the tension still is yielding. Kasi yun yung purpose natin na mag-design tayo on the tension controlled side and not on the balance nor on the compression controlled side. We always design a beam on the tension controlled side. So we always assume that the tension still yields for the design. Pero kapag nasa analysis ka, uh, syempre depende sa given yun. This is a theoretical given. So possible na hindi mag-yield yung steel doon. But for the design, we always assume steel is yielding. So, syempre, ang goal natin dito is to get the depth compression block. So, syempre, we will arrange this one. So, we could have an A equivalent to AS FY over 0.85 F prime C B. Yan ngayon yung depth of our compression block. So, ngayon, down naman tayo dun sa uh, moment na mapuproduce na itong diagram na to. So, our moment is a nominal moment kasi dito sa diagram na to, from the analysis, ang mapuproduce natin dyan is a nominal moment. So, that will be, it's either T times D minus A over 2 or on the compression side that is D minus A over 2. But for this one to derive yung equation natin, we will use the tension side. So that will be MN is equal to AS FY times D minus A over 2. So dito Yung MN natin, or yung AS natin dyan, is a value rho BD. So, yun yung sinasabi ko na yung BD is in effective area. etong BD na to. 
And yung raw natin dyan, that is the raw required. Kasi yan na ngayon yung pangkuha natin nung AS na required sa atin, which is ito. So, possible pa lang naman na siya yung uh, required or siya yung gagamitin natin. Kasi there are limitations coming from the NSCP on what to use and de uh, magdedepende pa rin siya kung magiging singly reinforced to or double reinforced. So, isa rin siyang indication para malaman natin kung singly o double yung i-design natin. So, for this one, we will substitute the value of our AS at saka yung A na nakuha natin kanina from the static equation. So, substituting, we will have MN is equal to a value rho required BD FY times D minus our A which is ASFY over 0.85 F prime C B times 2. So, syempre, ito na ngayon yung equation natin. Then, may kita natin, meron pa tayong AS pa din dito. So, ibig sabihin, lagay pa natin dyan yung raw required. So, ibig sabihin, magiging raw required BD FY to. So, yan na ngayon. As you can see, pwede nating ilabas yung D dito sa equation na to. So, ilabas natin yung D, magiging MN is equal to rho required BD squared FY times 1 minus rho required B FY over uh, as you can see pala magka-cancel yung B dito so cancel natin to so that will be rho required FY over 2 times 0 0.85 F prime of C so yan na ngayon yung equation natin ng MN ngayon Yung BD squared natin dyan, pwede nating ilipat sa kabila. So, it will become MN over BD squared. And that will be equivalent to a value rho required now times FY times 1 minus rho required FY over 2 times 0.85 of our F prime C. Then, from this one, pwede natin ipasok si rho required FY papasok dun sa uh, equation na to. So, ibig sabihin, magkakaroon tayo ng equation which is equivalent now to the MN over BD squared is equal to rho required FY minus raw required squared FY squared divided by 2 times 0.85 of our F prime C. Then, arranging the term uh, para maging quadratic equation siya. So, we could have etong dalawa lipat natin papunta dun. So, magiging so, ang variable natin dito is, or yung required natin is yung raw rec, or yung raw required. So, syempre, ayusin na natin yung equation. So, that will be Fy squared over F prime C. So, ano nga ba yung 1 over 2 times 0.85? Kasi magiging 1 over 2 times 0.85 yan. So, using our calculator, it will give us a value 10 over 17. So, you could check kung tama siya. So, that is 10 over 17 na value. Then, 
Siyempre, ito ay lilipat natin papunta doon. So, magiging negative yan. So, that will be negative rho uh, negative FY na siya. So, yung nandito, nakalimutan natin yung rho required. So, that is rho required squared. Tapos, ilipat natin yung isa, magiging minus FY times rho required. Tapos, magiging plus MN over BD squared is equal to 0. Ito na ngayon yung equation natin. Pero, alam natin na yung MN natin dyan, pwede natin gawing MU by substituting MU is equal to phi times MN. And as you can see, our MN is equal to a value MU over phi. So, ibig sabihin, ang equation natin could be Fy squared over F prime C times 10 over 17 rho required squared minus Fy rho required plus the MU over phi B D squared. That is equal to 0. Ito na ngayon yung derivation ng first equation natin from the required steel ratio. So, kung sakali na makakalimutan nyo nakabisaduhin yung equation na to, pwede nyo balik-balikan kung paano siya na-derive at mula dun, pwede nyo ring gamitin siya para makuha yung raw required. Then, after getting this formula, you can proceed into, by, uh, into using your calculator or pwede rin na gumamit tayo ng quadratic formula para makuha natin yung raw required squared. Kasi this is a quadratic equation. Then, pwede rin yung ating fourth method which is the numerical analysis. So, that will be all for this video ng pagdetermine natin ng raw rec uh, required steel ratio. So, for our next video, we will be deriving yung second equation. Again, this is Engineer Rodolfo. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to Butch TV.